it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I am going to show you how to make this adorable little square. Now this square is made up of only three rounds. It's really quick to make. It's seven by seven centimeters so it's not all that big but oh my goodness it is so nice. I have decided to call this square the gypsy square because it is so pretty and lovely and whimsical and a little bit of boho spirit and I think it would make the loveliest little blanket. So we are going to make this square and then in the next video I am going to make something with this. So stick around till the end of the video where I will tell you how many squares you need to make what else you need for the actual project that I am making with this. I am making something that I think everybody can make. I'm sure you've got everything in the house to make that. And I think it's a very useful thing that we are making. So get ready to learn the square, but then also in the next video, we are turning this into something. And I think you want to make this too. So let's get started with making this square. For this project I used King Cole Cotton Soft and it's 100% cotton yarn, DK thickness and I used the colours Dusky, Fudge, Sage, Midnight and Mulberry. We have the whole range on our website so do go and check it out. I'm using a three and a half hook for the DK. I've got scissors and of course also a darning needle to darn in the ends. So let's get started with the square. So I'm going to make a slip knot, insert my hook, and I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. Then you go back to the third chain, go in it, bring through the working yarn, and bring that through the loop on your hook. You've now made a little circle, and that's what we're going to use chain one this is your chain to help you gain the height so really we're just going to forget about this chain now we're going to do two double crochets together chain one two double crochets together so yarn over insert into the little circle pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and stop there yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over, pull through two, stop there. Now we're going to finish these half done double crochets, making them two double crochets together. Chain one, and we're going to do the same thing. So into the little circle here, into the middle, we are going to get started on making two double crochets, which we only pull through the first two loops. Then we yarn over and we pull through three. Then we are going to do chain three. One, two, three. And this little lot is what we're going to repeat another three times. So four times in total. So two half double crochets together. Chain one, two half double crochets together and chain three. One, two and three. There we go. So I'm going to repeat this another two times. And if you need to just scoot things over so you can still get into your little circle. one chain and two more double crochets together there we go and a chain three one two and three so we now have four times two double crochets together chain one two double crochets together and each time we have three chains we end in three chains so we go to the first cluster that we created here we have this large one here. We go under that one. So pick up the two strands of that large one. Do a slip stitch. There we go. 
Then you do a slip stitch into the chain one space. Then a chain one to start round two and a single crochet into that chain one space. There we go. And now we are going to chain one and into the chain three space, we are going to do a double crochet, another double crochet, three times a treble. So a treble is where you yarn over twice. So we yarn over one, two, into the chain space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we do that three times. And then we are going to do in that same chain space, we're going to do a double crochet and a double crochet. To finish off, we're going to do a chain one and then into the chain one space below, you're going to do a single crochet. Voila. And this is what you are going to repeat. So we chain one, two double crochets, three trebles, and two double crochets. Chain one and a single crochet into that chain one space. There we go. So you will repeat this another two times. So I have done my last little shell here. I've done my chain one. Now I'm going to go over to that first single crochet that we did. So this is that chain, this is the first single crochet, this is the V of that single crochet, and I'm going to go under that one. Okay, and I'm doing a slip stitch there. So this brings us on top of that single crochet. Now we're going to do a chain two, yarn over, and we do a double crochet around the chain space. Now we do three chains, one, two, and three. Then we skip three stitches, one, two, three, and into this one here, which is the middle treble. Okay, so we skip one, two, three, one, two, three, and this one is the middle stitch. You're going to do a single crochet, a chain one, and into the same stitch again for another single crochet. And that has made our corner. Now we are going to do chain three, one, two, and three. And then we look at this situation here where we have the chain, the single crochet and the chain. We're going to put a double crochet around the chain, a double crochet into the single crochet. Now, if you pick up the V, it sort of sets it a little bit to the side. So sometimes I just put in between the two strands there. So it's a little bit straighter on top of that single crochet. And then I do a double crochet around the chain. Then one, two, three, find one, two, three, the middle treble again for your corner. Single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and we've got this situation again where we are doing the three double crochets. One around the chain space, one on top of the single crochet, one around the chain space. One, two, three. One, two, three. Skipped into the fourth one for our corner of one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. One two, three, and the double crochets again. I mean, this is so easy, so straightforward. I have loved making these squares. There we go. And another corner here. And yeah, so one, two, 
three. So I've made it all the way around. And here, of course, we started with our chain that represented our double crochet on top of the single crochet. So here we are going to be placing a double crochet around the chain. Then we skip the two chains under this V here. We're going to go to do our slip stitch to close the round. And that is it. That is our whole square. So let's cut off the yarn and let's sew in the ends. And voila, the ends are sewn in. So now you will have to make more of these squares. In total, you will have to make 18 squares. Now these are 12 squares because I have already assembled some of them. So if you want to be super ready for Friday, I will tell you in a moment how to assemble them and in which configurations. But if you're not sure about what we're making or you're not too sure you want to make the same thing, then wait for assembly and then come back to this video when you need to do the assembly. I have shown you in last Sunday's live what it is that we are making. So if you don't know what we are making, then the um, list of what you need at the end of this video will give you an inkling. But I am so happy with what I've made. I'm using it. I'm loving it. So there we go. It's worth making it. Let me show you how you are going to assemble these squares. So I'm going to do two assemblies um, and there we go. Okay, so we're going to need two of these and two of these. Okay, so you'll have to put six squares together like this and three like that. And you'll have to do that two times. Now to do the assembly and to do the finishing touches, I have chosen to do this in one color, in the color fudge, because yeah, I like this color. So I'm going to make a slip knot, insert my hook. And we're going to do horizontal lines and then the vertical line. And of course, in these ones here, all you will have to do is horizontal lines, okay? But I'm going to show you here because of course I want to show you the vertical line as well. So you're going to take two squares and holding them with their bad sides together, good sides on the outside, you're going to get started by finding that chain that you did in the corner. And then finding, let me check, yeah, finding here the back loop of it. And then here as well, you're going to have to just find that. That's this one there. Okay, so I've got these two. Make sure that your yarn is underneath. You bring up the yarn, you bring it through that loop, through this loop pull it all tight and then through the loop on your hook. So we're going in to the back loop, in to the back loop there, basically a slip stitch. So we're going to have a flat join and we're using the back loop only of both the adjoining stitches. So make sure that if you're doing this middle one that you're picking, yeah, look, that's correct. See, I'm picking up this one and then this one I have to pick up and that's also the middle double crochet there. So it's going well. And also we need to do this in the chains. So make sure you don't do your chains too tightly when you are doing them so you can actually get into them. And this is what your join looks like on the outside. And this is what it looks like on the back. So you work your way all along the side of the squares here. And make sure once again that you are kind of finishing with the same stitch, but just, yeah, with that 
chain one stitch I think there we go that's fine okay so I've made it to the end of my squares here then I'm going to do a chain one this will give us a little bit of space for going the other direction and then you're going to take your next two squares here keeping the yarn below you're going to go into that chain of the corner let's see if we can find it this one here and then into the chain of the corner here voila and then we bring up our yarn and we join and we do the slip stitch and we continue like this voila I will meet you at the end so I've made it to the end and I'm now just going to cut off the yarn here and now I'm going to do all my other horizontal ones as well and then I'll show you the vertical ones and now here um, when you get to a crossroad so to speak you're going to use the corner ones again so as you can see these have been used but in this direction so you use that one and you use that one again I roll my yarn around there we go then you do a chain across the chain and then here you use the corner ones again it's a bit fiddly have I got it no <laughs> wrap it around bring it up and through and through there we go and that way it makes a nice crossroads there so I will see you when I have done all my joints so now I'm sewing in my ends et voila no more ends so now to make it less confusing okay I'm going to take out of the picture this these two you have to make twice so you have to make two of these and two of these and if you put them together like this then you will be ready and prepared for Friday's video so these are the things that you will need as well so what do you need for your junk journal now a junk journal is exactly that it's a journal made of junk or things that you have been keeping to use one day so this is something that I have been keeping that I thought was too pretty to use but of course why not use it so this is what I'm going to turn into my junk journal it was a um, little magazine of free pages that came with a magazine a couple of years ago I put it to the side and never use it so this is the ideal time to use that and imagine all those printer pages that you get where there's one sentence at the base or one sentence at the top and you don't do anything with those and you just think okay I'll keep them to write on one day but you never do well this is the type of paper that you've got to go and find now and turn that into a junk journal okay so A4 preferably normal thickness paper go and find some then here I have A4 cardstock paper in the colors that would go with all these here but of course you know you can choose whichever color you like so then also what you will need is a piece of cardboard which I have cut to just about a four size but a little bit more here so I can make a spine now as you can see it's already got a fold down the side because it was the side of my box that's fine I'm just going to make a second fold here and then that will be the spine of my book what you will also need is one of these mats that you can prick into I have my pricker here <laughs> I don't know what it's called that this tool uh, but if you don't have that a needle will do as well you do also need a needle and I'm going to use a bone folder to do nice creases in my paper 
And to keep our book together, I'm going to be using this. This is waxed thread, which I bought for some reason, I can't remember, even maybe for making little books, okay? This is a black thread which has been waxed. I bought this via Amazon, but I can imagine you can also use a good, strong sewing thread. So this will be good as well. And um, you could, if you wanted to, use a thicker thread and wax it yourself on a candle. So it would be nice and strong and glide through the paper. You will also need scissors to do that. And yeah, I think that's just about it. So these are the supplies that you will need to make our junk journal. So get them ready for the next video where I will tell you what to do with them. I try to design crochet projects that would be interesting to all of you and that would be achievable for all levels of crocheters. And in this case, I even take you out of your comfort zone and we make a very simple book together. I hope you have enjoyed today's project and I hope you would consider subscribing, liking this video and leaving me a comment. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!